We live? Oh my god. Hey everybody. Welcome to the first episode of Tawanda Draws. I'm Tawanda and I'm about to draw. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to say it like that, but that just came out. That's it. So funny. And it's weird. I can hear myself repeating in the back. All right. All right. Quick full disclosure. This is my first time doing a Twitch show and making content online. I'm not used to this. I'm used to just doing like a podcast in here. So people watching me talk and like draw and shit is a whole different world, but it's going to be fun. We're going to be great. Like, I think that this is brave of me. Uh, this is great. Thank you for watching. And if you like art, um, I like art too. And the show is basically going to be like me drawing comic strips or me, you know, looking over old comic strips and figuring out why they were bad or me looking at new ones and being like, oh, this is why it's good. Or even me looking at comics that I really like by other people and being like, yo, this shit is dope. And this is why it's dope. And also, enjoy the show. We're going to have music playing in the back. I'm playing Nipsey Hustle, R.I.P. Uh, the song Rap Niggas. That's my shit. Uh, I'm wearing a Selena T-shirt. Because I want to just be like, you know, show everybody that I'm cool. I feel like Selena, t- Selena shirts are like the coolest that you can wear, period. I, but I, I, I'm just talking. But anyway, um, we're going to get started in a moment. I'm trying to think of a comic idea, right? So first things first, here's the thing that I drew today. And I'm trying to figure out where I can use it and what to use it for. And I'm going to tap here on my handy dandy screen with my Apple Pencil. And here's this drawing that I drew today. All right, as you can see, wait, cancel that. I drew myself, right? But I do like a weird, like demony version of myself. Like I have the hoodie on. I have like some Jordans, I think. The gray jean. I had a pair of gray jeans back in like 2015 that I really liked. So I, I put myself in those again. And then I got this, like, I got my glasses. Then I had this weird, like, maniacal, like, mech smile. Like, it's like sharp teeth. And in my mind, I drew this being like, all right, this is what my anxiety looks like. Just this shrivelly, mean, like impish kind of thing. And I was toying with the idea of like, what if I had to talk to my anxiety like face to face? What would I say to it? And that seemed kind of dumb. So I realized what I was going to do instead was try to like think about how anxiety manifests inside of me and how like I see my anxiety or whatever as like, I see it as a hindrance, but also like a fuel in my life. It's like gasoline. Like in the right space, anxiety has made me do some amazing things. Like all this right now, like this drawing, this microphone, this camera, all this was anxiety because I was like, what am I going to do? So I did all this shit. That's where anxiety has helped me out a lot. Anxiety has been bad in the sense of I have night terrors sometimes. So it's just like, it's good Like where I can do some artist shit. It's bad because I can have night terrors and I've had night terrors with exes with my with my old girlfriends in the bed with me, and that's not cool. You don't want a girl to watch you scream in your sleep. That's not that's not gags, though. Especially when you're like, oh, I'm just screaming because you know I'm scared about the future. That's that's stupid. Like, what are you afraid of? I worked at John Hancock. That's not worth screaming at night. I'm not like a veteran, but I digress. Um. So yeah, I was gonna use this. And I was going to figure out where, like, I had the idea of you like, I talked to him face to face, or what I would do is like, I would just like, you know, take him and put him in a comic and have him like, you know, in a cage and just be like, hey, let me out, let me, let me, can I run for like maybe five minutes? And then I don't know how to explain it. But what I'm going to do instead is I am going to have him explain who he is. I'm going to like put, the, I'm going to take this whole thing right here, right? I'm going to take it, cancel. I'm going to press that. I'm going to share the JPEG, right? You see that? Export in. And then I'm going to uh, now download it to my iPad, right? I'm going to switch programs. I'm going to switch programs on your ass. And I'm going to go to Comic Draw. And this is where I got Draw and Procreate, but I make comics in Comic Draw. And as you can see here, I got like, I got maybe like 100 or so here. And it goes back to when I first first started. Like this is like roughly one of my one of my earlier ones. Let me just show you this real quick. I'm talking a mile a minute because I don't know what to talk about. But look, this this is the first one I ever drew. And this was just a whole comic about like you know going on dates during COVID, where it's just like, oh shit, I don't know how to react to that. But this is like very rudimentary, whatever, whatever. It was cute. Um, I was gonna actually submit this to the New York Times, but 
I don't know if you could draw that much ass in the New York Times. Anyway, let's move it back. All right. Big problem with comic draw. When you don't use it a lot, it starts to get really laggy and slow. But it's okay. I when, when I'll figure out other comic shit, I'll use it. But for now, comic draw is still cool. Let me actually reset that. That's really embarrassing. It's still doing this shit. Why is it spinning like that? Let's slide that back up. Go back to comic draw. All right. So I'm scrolling all the way down to like my most recent comics and shit. And I'm going to add one now. I'm going to create a comic. And I think what I'm going to do, we might not actually use this, but I'm going to make this to kind of figure out who the character of this insecurity guy is. Because I've been noticing lately that like I've been trying to do more complicated stuff or maybe like have different character arts. Because usually my first comics were just like, this is literally set up, the premise set up punchline. It was that easy because I couldn't do stand up. But now I realize I can, you know, do more because it's like, it's art, it's drawn. I can draw like emotion. I can draw more abstract things. So now I'm going to give him like a, sp- a headspace that I may not, I may either use or may just keep, you know, just keep here just for my, for my own personal, you know, collection. But we're going to, you know, figure this out. So first I'm going to have the little squares. I like to set the panels myself because there's a way to do it with the app. They'll do it automatically, but like they never get them big enough. It's always like really small. I'm like, nah, bro, my pictures are bigger than that. And I'm going to slide this and then make that two, two, two. There we go. Let me do that. Oh, that's not right. And then there's that. And then we're done. We got the end of squares. And after that, I'm going to uh, paste an image from my photos. I'm not too worried. Sometimes you go through your photos like, oh, shit, I have not have a picture of that in there. But I deleted all the like the dirty shit. Or did I? No, I deleted it. Or did I? Yeah, not that. But um, all right. So I'm going to take this picture that I drew earlier. You know, we're going to do that. And we're going to size it up right and uh, yeah we're gonna have them there and then we're gonna select the layer i'm gonna copy and then i'm gonna paste him over here and then i'm going to paste him right here all right now as you can see the squares i initially chose were too small for this so what i'm gonna do is edit those And we have it right here. There we go. That's nice. Uh, I think that that's cool. And I think that'd be fun. I like that. All right. So then we're going to do this. I'm going to change the song because I love Nip, but I don't like this shit. I don't need to hear Lloyd on the feature unless it's uh, you with Lil Wayne. Uh using title instead of youtube right now by the way because youtube has too many fucking ads like i watched a 10 minute video and i got six ads like youtube that is just that is awful that's wrong i want to call it terrorism but there's actual terrorism it's just it's just shitty capitalism bro like how much money do you need google you got all of it all of it dog you have to have more you gotta have ads it's not even like cool ads or cool shit used to be ads like yo here's wendy's or here is like, you know, a Nike ad. Now it's just like, oh, here's a three minute ad about a pill for restless leg syndrome. Like, what the fuck? Like, dog, I know it, it affects people, but we don't need, I don't need a YouTube ad for that while I'm watching a video, while I'm watching Many Men by 50 Cent. All right. Relax. All right, bros. I'm going to go to it. Who do I want to play? I'm going to go up. Let's go Hope. You can never go wrong with Hope. It's title too. They probably got all the dope Hope videos. I'm going to go. Uh, let's go feeling it. That's a good song to fucking rock to. Now, sorry for those who just wanted to see the art, but the music is important to the art. Because if I don't have music playing in the background, I can't draw nothing. Let me get some water though, because my mouth is dry as shit. 
I need to get like an actual ring light because the one I have right now is just like a, a desk light that gets super hot and it's torture being under this. But anyway, we're going to have this and then I'm going to make a little caption here and it's going to be like, boom. And then we're going to go, wait, hold up. There we go. There we go. Boom. And then gonna, he's going to say some stupid shit like, hi, I'm told. Wanda's insecurity. All right. Hold up. One sec. Let me change one thing real quick. Don't you mind me? Uh, I got to stop sharing real quick. Share content again. Microphone should be off because it was tapping like crazy. But whatever. Hold on. Wait. Share content screen. Start. There we go. Microphone should be off because I just have, I could hear it tapping. That was really annoying. But everyone listening, I'm really sorry about that. Let me go back to it, back to comment draw. And then I'm going to go into one in security. And then I'm going to change the the font because I usually use that font for my own voice. But I feel like this is a sneaky, like, evil little bastard. So let's give him a more evil font. Like, let's say, not Peace, that's too, that's too evil. Peace to Flash is like, that's not a zombie. He's just, like, sinister. No. Like, Seven Monkey would be good, but it feels, that feels, like, racist. Like, if I use it, that'd be weird as shit. Also, how is there, like, just, like, an Asian font? Like, is there, is there, like, a font that's secretly for, like, niggas? Was it, like, Comic Sans? Uh, it's, I doubt it's Comic Sans. But, all right. Let's try... Uh, no, all these are too. I like Night Porter. Yeah, you see that shit? Night Porter, Night, Night Porter heads. Look at that, look at that. Hi, I'm, now nah, it's just like, hi, I'm Tawanda's insecurity. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's just sneaky as shit. Then on top of that, right, I'm gonna go from here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to the fill. Go to the balloon, right? Make it jagged. Then I'm gonna make the types of speech. It's going to be a whisper. No, rough. Let's go rough. Rough is kind of like, that's just it, just, so just, it just reads gravely. I like fonts because fonts change, dictate how you read things in your head. Like a good font, because when you're reading articles and shit like that, a good font, like you read like a reputable font, you're just like, oh, this all makes sense because you read it in your voice. But if you read like a really janky font, you read it in like some weird voice. Uh, or maybe that's just me. Uh, but anyway. Uh, up to one's insecurity and then instead of just instead of doing all the editing shit again i'm just gonna do it when i'm done with this but anyway hi i'm to one is insecurity i'm pretty important i'm responsible for a lot of his success first some of his success. Some of his failures. And every single impulsive decision he's ever made. All right. So we're gonna change that to Night Porter. And then this is where it's really annoying because sometimes like you I write the dialogue and shit, and it'd be like, oh, the, the bubble would be so big because I write mad words. And it's just like I gotta go back and like carefully shrink it down. So I'm gonna edit this. And I think I could take some of the words out. I'm pretty important. I'm responsible for for 
for his success. His failures and every impulsive decision. Not every single because I think sometimes I could be sometimes I could be hella wordy. Cause I like words a lot. I like saying words, I like writing words. Words are the shit. But in humor and just reading, sometimes it's just like yo, just get to the point. Like I don't need to hear extra words. I'm not TI. Speaking of TI, he was so much better when he didn't use that many words. Oh my god. Pre-dictionary TI was that nigga. Shout to if he's watching this, and that'd be crazy if he was. Like, I watch a show, show it. Like, oh damn, it's T.I. He watches me draw sometimes. All right, make that jagged again. And then uh, the bubble is gonna be another rough one. Ever made, and then what am I gonna say here? I'm just I'm very important. I'm just honest for every success, for success, his failures, and every single decision, post decision he ever made. Then what's the third thing he's gonna say? Oh my. He thought for a while. He thought. I'm like but I'm like that all right that's it I want to say that but that's like an easy that's too easy you know what I'm saying sometimes the obvious joke is you know it's easy for like you know it's like it's convenient but I don't want to be too obvious even though this is really a reference comic to a later comic I want to have a little bit of you know more weight Thought he could get rid of me, but I'm like the elect. The, oh, that's topical. I'm like the electoral college. College. You can't get like the electoral college. You can't get rid of what you don't really, you don't understand. Nah, that's stupid. That is so stupid. That that's like, nah, that's dumb. That's some shit I'd put in like a really bad like writing packet. Like, oh, blah blah. blah. That's stupid. I'm not gonna say that to her, but I'm like, nah. Because I want to say I'm like that Queen Helen cocoa butter, but that's that's too obscure, and that's like a reach for people. So I don't want to do that. I like to make obscure jokes, but sometimes it's just like I can feel people feel left out and that just makes me feel bad i don't want to leave people out of this shit so what would i say it's that i am tawanda's insecurity i'm responsible for a big success his failures and every impulse that he never made i think what would help is just like thinking about like what insecurity means to me and maybe find the joke from that because when i say like responsible for success and his failures i mean in the sense of just like just this idea of discomfort and how I need to grow and I need to do something so I feel like so I can feel comfortable again. So that's driven me to be like, you know, I'm going to maybe sign up for this class or maybe I'm going to just start doing something. Maybe I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Like I, I just have quick bursts of like insecurity that makes me like, I have to run away from it. So I'll do whatever. Like I might go to the gym. Like what I used to do is like, I'd get high and then go to the gym because I'd be so panicked and have this fight or flight mode. And that would put me in a great position to just like run on a treadmill for 30 minutes. And um, that's not too healthy, but that's how I, that's how I ran for a while. Just like being insecure like that. And it's weird to think about it that way to be like, Oh, my insecurity led to like some of my success. But I think, I think that then for the failures, I say insecurity has led to that in the sense of like, yo, that's causes mad self-sabotage like overthinking and then performing in a way that's not like conducive to actual progress, you know, overthinking in the sense of just like taking basic 
projects I might get at work or school and making them mean too much or dating wise, like overanalyzing every single thing a girl has to say to me. So I'm like, what does she mean? Like she said this now, but two weeks ago she said this. What the, like, I don't, that's not good. So getting out of my head is what I think the issue is. Insecurity keeps me in my head. Could that be a thing? Like for a while he thought he'd get rid of me, but I'm such a big part of him that he doesn't know who would be without me. Basically, I'm like the electoral. Uh, that's so stupid. I'd be so angry if I read that. I can't say electoral college after that shit. So where do we go? This is all right. This is going to be like how the show works, by the way. You're going to watch me like half draw or take things that I've started and then kind of go from there. Um, so that's what we're going to do for a while. He thought he'd get rid of me, but, and he came to the, but then he realized he needed me. Then he realized he needed me. And then we're gonna make it night porter. Then he realized he needed. And then um, so we're gonna do the needed. I can't make it italicized. Damn it. I can bolt. I can't do shit. All right, I can do that. But I don't know. This doesn't feel good. Ah, uh, shit. What can I say? Um, because I don't like that. That whole sentence is stupid. I don't like it. So we're gonna take that. And we're gonna cut it. You know what? I've noticed that like sometimes with situations like this, the best thing to do is just leave it alone and then come back to it later. Because then it's my subconscious to work on instead of just sitting here trying to make myself think. That's not like I'll get to that conclusion, but sometimes it's not because I thought so hard, it's just because it was in my mind for a little bit. So let's see, let's leave that alone. Bring us to this next segment where I analyze an old comic that I think is good and um I talk about it. So join me. I was going to say done there. Go back to my comics. We'll come back to you, little bastard. Um, I love this comic and I put it on Instagram today and it's getting like no likes, but I think it's so fucking true for me. All right. This comic is basically about me thinking about a girl I like. Whereas you could see the first first panel, I'm kind of just like, all right, whatever. Then I kind of squint like, ugh. And then finally, I'm like, this. And then I'm finally like, yo, this goofy bitch. And I'm like, I should buy it because that's how I that's how I manifest how I like somebody. I'm just like, I'll think about them. I got my nerves, dog. This bitch. And I'm like, I'm calling her this bitch because I'm just like, this bitch really got me out here liking her. Like, damn, I really like this bitch. Like, and I know it's wrong to say call, call people bitches, but it's like sometimes in your head, you call somebody a bitch. Like, it's fine. Like, at like, the same time, flip side, I know women have felt this way before. Like, women who are listening, probably. You ever like a dude? You're like, this fucking dumbass. This idiot. This fucking moron. I love him. Like, that's that's the feeling I'm talking about. That's what, like, liking and admiration is to me. Is when it's like, I feel like maybe this might be a, this might be something I'd say in therapy, but I sincerely believe that, like, you don't truly like somebody unless you can be mean with that tone of I like you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you go to a dog and you can say, like, whatever you want to a dog, but you say it in that tone, and like, oh, you're saying good things or the opposite. I feel like that's how, like, you know, when you like somebody, it's very basic like that. But you could say some shit like, if I see you on the street, I'm like, hey, you know, shut up. And you don't know me, that's disrespect. But I'm like, yo, shut up somebody i like it's like oh you like me because you're saying it like that like you you want to tease a little bit so that's what this comic is about i said it to my homie to my friends and they're both like yo that's so true that's how i feel 
Then I put it on the internet and I got nothing. So um, I'm blaming it on the rain, to be honest. I feel like I've noticed this, that when it's raining outside or just depressing outside, Instagram shit just goes down because everyone wants to be off their phones. But I derive my uh, you know self-worth from Instagram shit. So I'm just like, damn, now I'm sad because everybody else is sad and that's not cool. So I should probably, you know, I like, take some vitamin D or some shit. Or I, I recommend if you're going to go to my Instagram page on a cloudy day, take some vitamin D first and then like a picture because it's, That'll give me the dopamine or whatever, the endorphins that I need to keep making shit. And the vitamin D will do the same thing for you and your skin and shit. And your hair, probably. So anyway, that's some shit I drew that I liked. All right. So that one is an old one that I kind of like. I want to show you one that I kind of didn't like, if, if I can be frank and honest. This one. Oh, my God. I hated this one. I hated this one. Let's 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 go through it real quick. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna break down why I hate it it's for like a few reasons. First, it says trap music is more related to gangster rap. I love gangster rap, but I don't do gangster shit. I also don't know any priest who who does gangster shit, so that's not relatable. But trap music is about capitalism. That's hella relatable. And it's like I don't know any big time drug dealers, but I have at least six friends that sold their Vicodin after their dental their dental sur- their dental surgery. That joke is so stupid. That's just like, I mean, it's funny, it's witty, because, you know, I can write jokes, but it's just like, I took, I, it's not just that, it's like, the fact that I drew myself doing stand up felt so masturbatory. Now, if noticed in my comics, there's a, there's a theme of like me drawing myself over and over and over again. Now, a lot of that is basically just like, you know, Self care and remembering, like just seeing unique ways to draw myself, especially as we're trapped in the house, it's easy to get depressed. That's my way of being like, Yo, I love you, you know what I mean? Because you have to love yourself first. Secondly, I just realized drawing my face is super easy because what does it take? Glasses, a beard, teeth, hair, and skin color, and then you're done. Basically, that could be Gucci Mane, you have no idea, it could be anybody, but so I'm just like, Whatever, but anyway. This one I didn't like because it's just like, it's just me telling jokes. Like I liked the other comments because it was like, all right, here's me sitting down doing, like, I'm like, I'm using the, I'm using the platform or using the, the um, medium better. This felt just like I missed doing stand up. So I hate this one. If you liked it, I mean, I appreciate it, but I wasn't crazy about it because especially now where it's just like, I'm drawing my insecurity or I drew like, you know, different viruses or whatever. Now I'm just like, I gotta, I gotta draw stuff because I think I drew this at a time where I was like afraid that I'd never do comedy again. So I wanted to draw myself doing it because it was on my mind so much. But then after this, I think maybe like two or three weeks later, I started getting up again and I was like, all right, word. I can um, do stand up still. All right, this is halfway through the show. How's it going? You having a good time? Matt, we doing okay? Can Matt hear me? It's all sweet. Seriously? Oh no! I was wait. Wait, people are watching though. Yeah, people. The the, the, the still, the still is the part. I'm talking about I'm talking to Matt right now. He's telling me y'all are still watching, and I'm like, oh shit, that is dope as hell. Also, he told me that the screen kind of dropped, so I'm putting I'm putting the screen back up right now. All right, because I got kicked off Zoom on my iPad. Basically, I'm trying to do mad shit at once, and it's, Zoom is like, you can't do that, and I'm just like, fuck you. I can do whatever. The, I goddamn. I'm sorry. I can't be cursing out machine machinery, especially since Skynet's still out there somewhere. Yo, how trash is it that Skynet isn't like giant evil robots? It's just like Mark Zuckerberg. That's fucking garbage. They like, remember watching Terminator and it was just like, oh shit, look at these giant metallic. It's Arnold. It was Arnold. That was it. And now it's just like some pudgy dude in a grace in a gray shirt who owns our lives. That should be a comic. But I'm probably not gonna do that. Um anyway, we're getting back to this. 
so that the uh insecurity comic but anyway this this shit like this whole comic right here as i was saying before it's kind of like it's cute but that was kind of rushed but to be honest and i remember it now i drew this as uh you know what's the word reference photo for an animated short that i made with my friend nick cannon it's called drowning definitely check it out after this go on my social it's all there and that's about me doing stand up so that's that's better but this was just like whatever that was just that was a throwaway that was something i posted online basically to prove to people that i still like do shit and to show girls oh he's so artsy like, he draws and stuff all the time like, he's so dedicated that's how women i date sound like to me it's just like so enamored and impressed by me but in reality they're all just like bro you're not you peed the bed before like, they don't know that but I, I, it's uh, it's a lot happening anyway back to this shit insecurity shit hi i'm tuan is insecurity i'm pretty important i'm responsible for his success and every supposed every in, in, impulsive decision he's ever made so if you ever see him that thank me no that's dumb what can we say Cause I want, I'll, but the thing is, I'm so used to writing a joke that kind of wraps everything up. But I think since I'm doing this as a reference to another thing, let's like keep it a little bit open ended. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not a setup premise punchline. It's just, it's a premise that's gonna come back later. Mm. Also, I like the spires in the back. All this shit to me that like kind of represents like my brain you know in the synapses so he's like he's like in my brain kind of that's that's cool right but anyway what was i gonna say night porter i was gonna say every post that he's ever made we're gonna say um he thinks that he's stronger without me but without me he'd be not nah, stupid but he thinks he can get rid of me But if he gets rid of me, he gets rid of him. Unless he does drugs. Like, unless he does drugs. That's stupid. No, nah, I don't want because the thing is, think about it deeper, right? The issue with these punchlines or whatever, the fact that they're terrible, it's they're terrible because the insecurity the relationship it has with me isn't like it wants to see me lose it's kind of like um death note what's it called you know that you all remember death note right in twitch yeah, you're on twitch you definitely watch death note with light and l shout out to make an l but like basically it's like ryuk to me where it's like it's not there to hurt or hurt me or help me it's just there to watch me so i feel like it is a tool it doesn't care it doesn't it doesn't care about me, but it's there. That's why I kind of drew it with that that smile, the same Ryuk smile. So I think the joke has to be around some, there somewhere. It's just like, he hates me, but he, like, he, he hates me. He hates me, but he doesn't realize that I don't care. I have one job to do. Nah, that's like, that's, that, that's not even, that's just bleak. That's like some shit I would post and people would be like, oh, Twanda, you're all right. Like, you okay? No, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. But uh, but, around, but that but that still, it feels real, right? I felt, I felt way real. Like, ooh, how about this? Yeah, responsible. He hates me. I love him. Because without him, I couldn't exist. Nah, that's not. That that again is like, that's some super creepy shit. I don't know why. I've been in a really creepy mood. Not creepy. That, no, I've been in a spooky, spooky mood. Because creepy is some shit that you can describe like a sex offender. Spooky is like a ghost or whatever. I've been in a real spooky mood because I've been watching horror movies with my roommates like every night since Halloween. So I think this is like, this is like, if you ever watch Castlevania, the TV show, there's a line like that. Like, we love you. Let me kiss you. That's like, that's it. So I don't want to do that shit. So I want to say, I'm going to bring it back, right? 
and be like, he hates me. Man. He thinks he can get rid of me. But the only way to get rid of me is to quit. Or do coke. All right, I, that that that's stupid, but I like that. But the only way to get rid of me is to stop listen. Don't get rid of me. Is to what was that? What did I just say? Yo, I wish I had like the chat up so I could see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's quit trying to or do coke. But he's afraid that if he did coke, he'd immediately start doing crack. So crack because he started doing crack and just like that I'm back in the game alright so that works Cause that that works because that's that is my legitimate fear. Like I'm like if I try cocaine once, I'm gonna move to crack like within like a month. Not because I want to be like a crackhead, but I just like I just I'm not I I'm frugal. All right, I know well, I know my money and shit. I can't be like oh I'm spending a hundred dollars on an eight. I'm spending a hundred dollars on an eight ball or how much whatever, or I could spend ten dollars on a crack rock. Like that is that's that's bad. I could buy ten crack rocks with a hundred dollars versus an eight ball that's gone. Like that's and also crackheads have been like they've done great things. I've seen so many crackheads out here thriving post corona, no mask, just still outside thugging it. And I'm like, damn, maybe the cure is in the maybe the cure is in the crack. But that's a weird diatribe. Don't don't smoke crack if you're around me, please. I've met, I think, at least three or four people that have smoked crack. Oh, I remember one time, this is my favorite. I hear a story about somebody who smoked crack. This shit's so funny. To me, but I was just like, wait, what? So anyway, I was in an acting class, right? I was in this acting class, and there was a dude there who, his name was Kevin Lugo, all right? His name's Kevin Lugo. He's 5'3", I think maybe like 65, 70 years old, right? Looks all right, you know, tan, perfect brown, like doll hair, like Barbie doll. It was out of his head it was flawless beautiful hair you know wore glasses he's a very like you know upper west side kind of like one of those new york characters that you might see like he might be in a, he can be like in a sign for the episode or whatever right so anyway we're in acting class and he's fine he's cool he's always there and you just think he's like this big nerd who loves acting and shit and then one day we're all talking about like he has to he has to do a scene where he has to pretend to be high on edibles and shit right and he's struggling he has no idea how to be high. And then we're all sitting in the back laughing. And one of, one of us is like, hey, yo, Kevin, have you ever, like, smoked weed before? And then he was like, yeah, I did a couple times, but I didn't really like it like that. Then the teacher, the instructor, rather, says, hey, so what did you like? And he was just like, oh, back in the day, back in the 80s, I used to buy cocaine and I would cook it. Crack. And I was like, wait, what? He was like, yeah, I used to I used to buy cocaine. I'd cook it. And like, first I used to buy it cooked, but I didn't like how they cooked it. And I found a way to do it. So I would cook it. And the sex was great. It was great. It was a fun time. Then I got tired of it. So I stopped. And he said it like, he's talking about, he's talking about crack. The way you talk about like getting a new, getting a cappuccino or whatever. I was like, oh my God. Like he talked about crack. I heard jazz music in the background. So anyway, that was the only like kind of functioning crackhead that I ever met. And he was in an acting class full of comedians and wasn't a comedian. So maybe crack isn't good. But anyway, um, 
I want to add one more line to this so then I can put it and make it like, you know, a thing. I'm back in the game. Uh, I can't. No, I'm back in the game. Let's just, let's just stay there. Oh, what I'm going to do, I, I might just name it the, I don't know, it's called Insecurity and Emotion. So I'm going to call it like the Emotional Series. Because I talk about my insecurity, my fear, but that's the, they're basically the same. Back at the game, he needs to let me out more. Dot, dot, dot. He needs to let me out more. Dot, dot, dot. And then what I'm going to add, though, this I'm going to add. This is what we're going to add instead. Not to just letter him. What's it going to say? Let me tap that. Ba bum. To be continued. Dot, dot, dot. That, see, that's the shit right there. I learned that because a while back, I was doing a whole like series where I was like, and I put myself with DC, like anime. Like, I was doing with a comic, like a weird comic book series, me with like DC heroes, like Batman, Superman, what have you. And I learned the importance of to be continued because then, like, People, even if it's garbage, people see it to be continued. Like, I have to see the next part. Like, back in 2005, Mob Deep did a song with this song called Got It Twisted, where in the video, they stole this big bag of money. They did another video where they're spending that bag of money. And then it was just like, to be continued, and it never continued. And I'm still just like, what the fuck happened? So, to be continued is always great. Um... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the lettering. I don't want it to be this glass jaw. I want it to be you know, a little bit foreboding. No, that's way too foreboding. That's not good. Let's say... Uh, I don't want to do dialogue. Let's go back to titles. Let's go... No, I don't want to do that one. Favo. Oh, Favo's cool. Favo's cute. You know what I mean? That's like, like nice. But this, but I want it to be italicized. I want something italicized, to be honest. Because italicized, if you continue for, especially what we're doing right here, this is like, it's like, it's more fun. So we go here, right? Yeah, like that. And then let's do condensed. No, wait. Yeah, that's like that. And then we're going to go to style. Options. We're gonna change it. Not red. Not that one. I think yeah, that works. Add a shadow to it. Do the border? A little border isn't gonna hurt too much. No, that's too much border. Oh, that's cute. Actually, no, wait. let's let's make this. Let's do this. There, that's perfect. And then um, we're gonna take this right, and I'm gonna change the frames themselves, like the boards themselves. And I'm gonna keep it like a little bit like jagged. I like adding that because people might not see that shit. When I add those shits, it feels like it kind of like makes it a little bit spookier. I like spooky. That's like my whole thing. And insecurity is one of my favorite. I, I like I like toying with insecurity and shit. I like talking about it. I like talking about like anxiety a lot because I feel like anxiety is like one of the scariest things in the world that you just have to live with and you can use it as a power. It's not it's not a superpower, but you have to use that shit. You have to overcome that shit to do anything. So I fuck with it. All right. So we did that. Now what I'm gonna do next, right? is uh oh i'm gonna fucking fucking stock x i yo i hate stock x bro i can't stand them shit like stock x when you first like buying sneakers in like 2016 2017 stock stock x were at or where it was at so you could get some shit under retail if you if you tried now they sell too much shit and it's like 
it's just bastardized sneaker culture. Also, they lost all of our fucking information. They're like, hey, we got had all your personal information is gone. So it's like that's and you still want to sell me an Xbox, whatever the fuck, or a PS5? Fuck you. If you want if you want to sponsor the show though, let a nigga know because I'll I'll sell that shit. Like StockX is dope. It's like buying hood shit would happen to be in the hood, but um, whatever. Let me just finish this up. And this shit might not hit, but as I said before, this shit is uh, I'm trying to build a series or I try to build like a thing where it's like, I want to have, this is the first one. I'm going to have more, I'm going to have different um, emotions and stuff like that. And then the goal I think I have in my head is like, it's going to be me in my room and I'm going to have them all around. And it's just like each one is trying to be like, hey, so how do you want to like basically how do I want to feel today? Like the way I put on like my clothes and sneakers, like I, you can't see it in the back, but I have like sneaker boxes in the back. I'm just like, what do I feel like wearing today? That's how I do emotions. Like, how do I feel like feeling today? Do I want to be happy today? Do I want to be sad? Do I want to be anxious? Do I want to be depressed? Like I I I pick I could pick and choose like that. Not exactly like that, but in the comic strip, I'll be able to do that. And that might be funny, or it might just be one of those things that you read and you relate to and you feel that. And I'm okay with that because I can I, I know now I can tell jokes. I've known that for a while. I've been doing stand up for maybe like 11 years. I know how to be funny, but like being poignant and being able to touch people in different ways, that's that's where it's at. So that's just my long way of saying that this is bad. This is art. <laughs> All right. Uh, we did that. Then we're gonna go back here, right? And we're gonna go to the active layer. Oh, that's the wrong active layer. See, I fucked up. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to uh, go this and then I'm going to go here. I'm going to hold on. Let me go back. Here's the active layer. Let me just go merge this down. Merge this down. Select layer. Copy. Oh, I'm an idiot. There we go. So we did that, but now what we're gonna do is something interesting where I'm just like, uh, this is the drawing layer. I'm gonna go here, right? I think it was eyedropper and then move the color down a little bit and then fill the background. So that when I share it or whatever, it shares it, it'll it'll have that in the back. It'll be cute. But just to be clear, because there's that little there's that whiteness right there. I'm gonna <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have the corona, don't worry. But you can't get it. You can't get it through like Twitch, right? I heard if you want corona, like chat roulette full of corona, but Twitch, you don't get you don't catch it on Twitch. But uh yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna make a line a little bit thick. Oh, it's not thick enough. So I'm gonna make it thicker. There. And then you go do. And then I'm done. Now I'm gonna share. And then I'm done here. Doop. And then um, I'm gonna go back to my photos. I took a video of myself because I'm vain. Uh, and then I'm gonna go, actually, wait, cancel that. I'm going to duplicate and then I'm going to duplicate. Oh my God. I'm just, I'm part of me was just like, what if I was dating a girl who was like, who are those girls with emojis by their name? And I'm like, God damn, how'd you notice that shit? But I'm not, well, I'm dating, but it's not like no one's that intense about me yet. Yeah, I've been watching Love After Lockup and there's this, just a dude on there, right, named Dylan, who's like, who dated the chick in jail and she was riding warm, but she, but when he got out, he found out that she had like six tattoos of his name in different languages all over her body. So he was like, Oh, this is bad. And then she was like all horny and like possessive and wanted to fuck him at her aunt's house within 10 minutes. And when he didn't, she got mad and stormed into the car and I got like, like started driving super fast. And like, she was just crazy. But anyway, I bring it up because at one point he said, while she was in jail, she got mad because he had his mom on his visiting list too much. 
he had his mom on his visiting list too much. And she was like, how dare you see her more than you see me? And he took her off the visiting list. So like, that's the type of shit. I'd be watching that like, damn, I don't want to be in a situation with a crazy shit like that again. Cause it happened to me once, but it was like, it was funny. Ask my homies. That shit was hilarious. Well, it depends on what your definition of hilarious is, but whatever. Anyway, so that's that. And then I'm going to go to my Instagram, right? And then we're going to fucking post this shit just to like, you know, I don't necessarily need to post this, but I want to, because for me, it's something about putting it out there and making it public makes you want to think about it and work on it more. Like it might not get the response I wanted to get, but I like people to see what's on my mind, how this is working. So anyway, we got that. All right. And I'm going to call it part one of my emotional emotion series but here's my insecurity i usually put hashtags but when i put hashtags i feel like such a like i feel desperate like oh hashtag comic hashtag joke hashtag 2020 like, fuck that i'm just put okay i have followers if you like the shit you like the shit and um we're putting that up right now up oh. sweet oh while i put shit in the chat put my venmo i'm broke as hell i'm dying oh my venmo is t-a-w-a-n-d-a dash g-o-n-a n-d-a dash g-o-n-a a yeah and i was talking to uh i was talking to matt about that if you guys didn't hear, because I need a vent, because like, you know we're all poor, and that's them. That that next that second stimulus isn't passing for a while. Mitch McConnell's still mad. There's, there might be a coup. We're not getting money from the government anytime soon. So if you want to add some money to the Venmo, I appreciate that. But if not, it's cool. I'll sell some sneakers or whatever. But um, with that, y'all, that is my time. Uh, we did the show. We have three minutes left. Um, thank you guys very much for you know tuning in. I really appreciate that. Uh, this has been Tawan to Draws episode one hopefully hopefully we have more uh again i just appreciate y'all like watching the process it's not you know glamorous yet but this is how it goes down and um i just want to let y'all know and remind you that uh, if you ever want to like send me some of your art anything you've been any comments you've done or whatever whatever definitely send them my way and i'm not gonna be like oh this is trash but i'll tell you how it makes me feel and i want to showcase y'all because my my best my favorite thing about all this shit is just being able to like you know share art with people and learn about more art so thank you guys um definitely send me some shit send us some shit follow me at, at @tawandas on instagram on uh, twitter uh you know what i mean that's that uh, thank you guys shout out too much bread and that's it thank you guys again bye mm-hmm.